All right. Hey, how you doing? Story time. I want to tell you a story. Uh, as you know, I live in Southern California, and here, what is starting to happen is that the uh, utility companies are sending out these letters that are saying they're scheduled maintenance or scheduled blackouts uh, or something like that, right? But it's basically we're starting to lose power like once every, I don't know, once a month or something. And it could be anywhere between a few hours to half a day or something, right? So no big deal for me, you know? You know me. I got my little, you know, backup power wall here. I'm like, who cares? I got the notices, you know, and I'm like, ah, notice, bam, who cares? But the other day, I got a call from, I have family up the street here, right? Like a few streets over, uh, I have family that live there. And I got a call and it said, hey, uh, the power's out, you know, the power's out. We still have internet, but the power's out. And uh, and I was like, oh, really? The power went out? Well, it's interesting because just a few streets up over here where I live, we have power. Uh, I go, so what's so what's the deal over there? And they're like, well, we don't know. They, don't, they didn't schedule it. They didn't get a notice or anything. So it's, it turned, it seems like it was unscheduled. And then they go, well, and yeah, we just went to the store and we loaded up our fridge. So our fridge is full of food. And uh, I guess if this only lasts a few hours, then the, you know, the food will be fine. But if it stays longer than that, then we're gonna lose all that food, they're telling me, right? And I was like, what? I go, come on over, come on over. I, I have something to help you. And so then what I did is that I lend them one of these battery packs that I've been reviewing like this blue eddy i actually give them this exact one the blue eddy 1500 right and what happened is that uh yeah the power seemed to be out i don't know more than half a day i think all night it didn't come back till the next day or whatever because what they did is they went and set it up and they just connected their fridge and they probably charged their laptops or i don't know they, so that they could stay active right because they still had uh cell you know the 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 cell coverage right so they had internet and stuff they could watch movies and all. anyways the next a few days later uh they returned the thing and i noticed that most of it was gone that's a one and a half kilowatt hour and so that means they ran that refrigerator for for many hours right and so i was like well there you go you know all of a sudden you know they're interested and you know i'll probably suggest which one they they, they want to get and stuff right uh but that is a, a reality and um that is happening here in california and if you are set up you know if you did a diy like me then it's no big deal right but if you don't want to build one of those well you know you can always get a blue eddy or one of the other ones that i'm uh reviewing in fact i have the new one from blue eddy uh, they have a new system that it's like bigger and it's better. I don't know. I'm su it's supposed to get it here this week and uh, I am going to do a review of it. So stay tuned uh, for that because I think, uh, I don't know, it looks good in pictures. We'll see once I get it, right? But here's another thing. The reason why I wanted to make this video is last time I actually did a review of this. If you're interested in watching it, uh, click on the link below. I will link that video. But last time, what ended up happening is that I forgot a very important thing. People were asking me to check how clean the sine wave was. And this, for those of you who don't know, sine wave is, it's, it's basically how the, the electricity is produced at, at the factory, at the, you know, at the power plant. And it's a sine wave. It's a, it's a thing that goes up like this when you put it on a scope, right? Now, cheap electronics you know there's inverters and the cheap inverters they are the sine wave it's not true sine wave it's a modified sine wave which means it's kind of square and it's jagged like this right which means it's dirty and that means that a lot of the electronics that you want to run off of that they, they they struggle with it right uh and particularly you know stuff that's got resistive loads like uh I don't know, like uh, electric motors and stuff like that, right? A lot of the a lot of electronics have 
they can handle it and it's no big deal, right? But so in order to make sure that none of your electronics that you wanna plug into a battery, like this one or like that one, then you get a, what it's called a true sine wave, true sine wave. And the only way, there's a lot of these Chinese products that are advertised as true sine wave, but once you actually test them, right, with the scope, then you see that it's, it's not so sine. It's not a true sine wave, it's more like a modified, right? So I have a scope that I bought just for this purpose, just for testing these units, and uh, I totally forgot to test it last time I did a video. So let's test that right now to see how true sine wave this unit is. Let's do it. All right, so here we go. This is the Blue Eddy uh, from uh, 1500 because it's a uh, one, uh, what is that? It's a uh, 1.5 kilowatt hour battery pack. And uh, by the way, this is the largest battery pack that I've seen on one of these units. This is a portable solar power generator or power pack, whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, just, and I took it apart, big battery, a little inverter. I wish the inverter was a little bit bigger, but uh, whatever. So anyways, here it is. Uh, it's about halfway. Then the AC is turned on, which means this is over here. Uh, I have this guy right here, the Handtech handheld oscilloscope, right? Let's turn that guy on. And then it's a load because a lot of the time, some of these inverters, what happened is that, look at that. It does have a pretty good sine wave. That's what a sine wave looks like, right? If those were a little bit jagged, then it would be more like a modified sine wave, right? So anyways, what happens is a lot of the times, these look nice and pretty like this when you don't have a load in there. But as soon as you put a load and you make them work hard, then all of a sudden this kind of goes crazy, right? So in order to test that, I have a uh, load here. This is a, uh, uh, what is this? A 1500 watt uh, heater, which is gonna max out this thing because I think this is like a 1000 watt. Let's just see what it does, right? If, I, if we trip the breaker or if this quits on us, then we know it's because we're pushing it too hard. But uh, we actually don't need to run it too much to see how well this sine wave stays under low, right? So all we need is a few seconds and then you, you can see it. I mean, I guess I could test it for longer than that and see maybe it starts getting, but uh, let's turn on the heater. Boom, look at that, 900 watts. The fans turn on it. Ooh, look at that. So it, it doesn't stay as pretty, look at that, but it's not super bad. Okay, there we go. Let's turn off this guy and see what it does. Ah, so it does. Look at that. It moves a little bit. Not much. I don't know. Yeah, see? Off. On. Off. On. Okay, so there is quite a bit just about the edge over here. That's what happens. Uh, this edge right here just becomes a little bit more pointy and a little bit of the top there, right? So, but I wonder if we were, if that is because we're re really pushing it, right? Because we're, we're getting uh, 872. I mean, look, it's 872 watts. Seems to be able to handle it. The wattage is going down a little bit because this heater, I think it's heating up. So the draw is becoming down a little bit. Let's see what that's doing. Okay, well, there you go. That's what happens when you have one of these guys. The uh, sine wave does become a little bit less sine wave, <laughs> less true sine wave. All right, well, as promised, uh, for all of you, so you have asked, there it is. I just tested the sine wave and it seems to change a tiny bit, right? So I don't know if that's enough to worry about or not, but I mean, I guess I can, I guess we're gonna have to, I guess all I can do is compare it to some other units, right? I don't have any of those here, but stay tuned for next week when I do the review for the next one, 
uh, unit that the uh, Blue Eddy is gonna send me, and then uh, we shall see how that unit does. If it does better than this one, at least we'll have something compared. And then uh, I'll, you know, I guess stay tuned for the other reviews for the other competing units, uh, in which hopefully I won't <laughs> forget to do this test, and we'll be able to see, right? So, thank you for watching this video. It's a quick video. Uh, if you're interested in this unit, follow the link on the, on the description. All right, see you guys on the next one. Bye.